Hello. Hi, everybody. Oh, <laughs> takes a small act of Congress around here for me to be ready. And I wanted to log in 10 minutes ago. Hi, everybody. Tracy Weinzaffel here, live in my studio. How are you all? I looked a lot more relaxed uh, earlier. Hello from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Hi, Linda. Oh my God, love my shirt. Thank you. This is my second live today, so I think I should have changed it. My first shirt got tea dumped all of it, all over it. So thank you for joining in. This is super exciting. I know, um, Hitomi, do you like my new countdown thing? I was feeling pretty good about that. that. Do you know how long it took me to do? Okay. Thank you. I feel like you guys are all talking about snow and I'm exposing my shoulders. I'm originally from Wisconsin, so I get you, but it was 80 here. Does anybody want to see my sunset by chance? I wonder if you can see it. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just turn this camera. We're starting right now, but I don't know if you guys can see this. Hold on. I'm going to, oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Certain things don't want to move. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh, my ring light is in it, but, oh, you don't see the colors. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, sorry. Uh, thank, uh, sorry. I really want to share it. I'll take a picture. Um, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. Okay. Um, so this is funny. I was so excited that your counter is now working. Helped me for sure. Okay, good. We'll start it. I just didn't realize I had to start it five minutes in advance. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I'll do this. I'll do this and just, I'll, I'll, oh, my ring light is right in the middle of it. Okay. So it's Wednesday night, and um, here is the thing. <sighs> I was a little empty in the motivation tank. Not the motivation tank. The, um, like, what am I going to paint tank? I don't know if there is. Is that such a thing? Uh, and then I just got thank you flowers. So... It is funny how things show up in your life. I mean, really? Okay. So that's back here for a reason. I was really appreciative of that. Inspiration tank. Thank you for those words. I was, yeah. So uh, I needed a little inspiration. It was delivered. I feel very good about that, and we're going to be able to, I, you know, we're going to be able to do it our way. Um, I got a hair clip because I feel like I'm not going to um, make it without putting my hair up, and Ideas Tank Inspiration Department. I love that. Okay, so, oh good, there's lots of streaks of clouds in yellow and gold. It's really pretty. I'm missing, like, a thing right now. I should, I'm not joking. Like, I really want to take this photo. I'm going to take this photo. Um, that way when I'm done, you guys can get an idea. No, my ring light is just casting the worst shadow. <sighs> but I'm going to do, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to just take the photo and then I'll share it with you. All right. So here's the thing. Um, sometimes I don't really come here prepared. I come here more like just wanting to create with you. The good news is I got some motivation that was delivered to my doorstep. So I am ready to start. But I do want to take care of some basic housekeeping things. And thank you for saying my top is so cute. I actually love this top so much. So I'm hoping that... Um, I'm hoping that I don't get paint on it. The good news is we're using watercolors tonight. So, um, sorry, my nose is running. Oh, Bonnie, I love Michigan, but I am still thankful I live here. 
All right, so here's some questions that I would like to answer. Uh-oh, we have buffering for people. I feel like I've got a good connection, so hopefully it's not me. Can you guys see and hear me? Okay. I was literally dancing. Oh, the sunset is just going bonkers, you guys. All right, I'm going to do this. So, uh-oh, is it me? Mine is good. Maybe it's your connection. Try to restart it. Yeah, I always recommend a restart. And I'm sorry, I have to do this. I'm actually sweating. Okay, so if it's good for Hitomi, it should be good for everybody. All right. Um, I had the window open. And um, <laughs> I was feeling... Okay, good. Art journaling with Tracy Weinzaffel just said good connection for her. So that would be me. <laughs> All right. Here's the great news. Um... Uh, our little engine of creativity has taken many wonderful roads, and one of them, hold on, Leah, I have to say something. She just said I'm rocking the L Linda Hamilton vibe. My whole life, not my whole life, because I'm sure when I was seven, I didn't look like Linda Hamilton. Um, everybody was saying I look like Linda Hamilton. That, I know, Anne. Uh, so that's cracking me up. Thank you. Um, I thank you. Can you guys see the scar running up my, that's so funny. All right. So here we go. Um, the art journal challenge is on next week. For those of you who were so excited and, st and thought it started Monday, I'm sorry it didn't start Monday. Um, we've said all along, it's been February 8th through the 12th. So, um, February 8th is Monday, this coming Monday. I already worked out the schedule, which I'm super pleased about because we're going to, I was going to pre-record one whole of those pages, one whole of those pages. Forget my English. It's so bad right now. Um, thank you. My hair up and my top. I think I'm going to live in this outfit. So I've already worked out how we're going to do it. And I'm really happy about it because I would rather all of it be live and us be creating together. Does that make sense? Um, so that is going to happen February 8th through the 12th. For those of you who are wondering, um, can you still sign up? The answer is yes, you can still sign up. Yes, the cost is still $10. And yes, it still starts on Monday. If you're wondering about supplies, the sunset, like I legit, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I am sorry. We're gonna turn that off. I'm going to take this picture. I'm going to turn this camera around. Let's see if you can see this. I'm not, I know this is poor production value, but let's give it a second. Let's see, oh. You guys have no idea how gorgeous that is. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I just wanted a photo of it. I'll share it after I'm done. But it's so amazing when you can be inspired by what is literally right outside your door, and that will be a painting in itself. But I'll turn my ring light back on, and I'll come back to you. Okay, I'm sorry. It was. It's just like it's got layers and it's got purples and blues, and I'm so inspired by the sun. Okay, so back to my matters at hand. Do not feel like you have to um, go out and buy every um, supply known to man. Yes, I list it. Linda Glau is looking at the same sunset I am, so I know she's, I'm getting some, I'm getting some legit feedback here. All right, uh, I will be creating in watercolors. You can create in whatever you'd like. I love it that people are trusting me. And for those of you who have taken my challenges before and getting creative, I totally appreciate you guys stepping up in that group and helping everybody else because that means a lot to me. If you have a creative friend you would like to share the art journal challenge with, some people are buying it. You are more than welcome to do that and buying it for a friend. You just need to let us know. Um, how that works. So we invite them into the Facebook group. That's it. It's all housed in a private Facebook group 
Um, no, it hasn't started. So people are like wondering where are the videos. The videos are not made. I actually legit teach this live, record it day by day, and they go in by units. Okay. Um, I made a list to get more supplies. Um, yep. And Loretta, I'm going to share this because the next question out of your mouth is, what do you recommend? Now I listed what I recommend. Um, I listed what I recommend. But I did do up a supply list, uh, like a resources page. I did that on purpose because I get asked all the time, what are, you, what are you using so I can get them out? Shirley wants to know what I'm using right now so I can get them out. I don't know what I'm doing, Shirley. <laughs> I was talking about the art journal challenge. But Shirley, if you want to get out some reds, some blues, some purples, I'm kidding. I think tonight... Um, I think tonight we're going to shoot for something that is in the red daisy family. <laughs> that. Okay. And, okay, uh, hello from Long Island. Looking great. When I saw you first with lighter hair, I thought you were Jillian Michaels. Do you ever get that? N Dana, a lot of people say that I'm built like Jillian Michaels, super muscular, petite, strong. Nobody's ever said that in the history of my being. I'm actually not petite. I'm not very strong. Mm. <laughs> and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> you might want to go get your eyes checked. Jillian Michaels is like my body idol. <laughs> Linda Hamilton, to be clear, is also my body, um, like when she was in Terminator. So yeah. All right, and the question is always coming up is, do you, oh, this sunset, the, do you need to be present in order to be partaking in the art journal challenge? The answer is no, you don't have to be present. You can watch it later, and it is all recorded. Yeah, I am not petite. I am the opposite. My mom is petite. My mom is one of those people who goes in, buys her pant pants in the petite, petite section, and then has to have them hemmed. I'm the other problem. I am uh, very long. Okay. Uh, uh, Danielle wants to know, are you unpacking your travel art bag tonight? Danielle, if you remind me, because it is 541 and I always promise this, if you guys want to stay an extra five or ten minutes afterward, I'll unpack that bag because I have to pack it literally to go camping this weekend. Does that sound like a deal to you? Because this is all recorded and go to YouTube. If you need to go to sleep, I totally understand. You must be somewhat strong, you crazy hiking lady. I do hike. I like to hike. Uh, ran outside just now to take a picture. It's amazing. See, I'm not the only person. It's how long will the classes be available to watch? 30 days. How long are the classes? 30 to 45 minutes. How long do you have to take those classes? 30 days. Do you get to create right alongside of me? Absolutely. Can you come join me in my studio? By all means. I live in San Diego County. If you can find me, come on and be with me. Uh, six feet would be appreciated. Please wear a face mask. Um, okay, if you guys want to uh, stay for the unpacking, we'll do that. Is that a deal? Thank you for reminding me. I had a note. I have This is me right now. This is my life. Like, they're all over my office. They are literally everywhere. They I have post-it notes everywhere in this office. So if you guys want to stay for me to unpack my bags, right now there's husbands going, really? Who cares about that lady's bag? Okay, I do want to paint the sunset. However, that is some pretty in-depth painting. We're going to do some pretty simple painting. This is a free demo, not a workshop. Uh, for those of you who are in your Artful Journey membership, which I'm going to talk about this real quick, if you are not in the membership, you can get on the wait list, and I'm sure Vanna White is going to pop in the wait list link. Um, if you are a member or want to become a member of your Artful Journey, it is my membership, my tribe, my people, my loves. We are going to have a whole month of sunrises and sunsets. I don't know the difference, but I noticed the difference now. In Oh, look at this. Channel 10 is saying San Diego sunset. It's legit. It's on our news. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're playing our sunset on the news. Okay. 
So if you want to be a member of your artful journey, um, I can give you a hint. April is going to be, that's not a hint. April is the month of sunrises and sunset. If you want to be on the wait list, we're opening the doors on February 12th. Here's the thing about February 12th as well. It's the last day of the uh, Heart Art Journal Challenge, meaning I'm going to go, doors are open, and they're open. The first 25 people who sign up for a year membership are going to get a really nice uh, gift. I already know there's a jelly plate in there. There is a zigzag al album from Hanamule, two Dynasty brushes, my favorite uh, water lily brushes, and stencils from Dare to be Artsy. So if that doesn't um, excite you, I don't know what does. And here's the good news. For those of you who joined the last time and I had a gift and they were out of stock and COVID hit, I've asked all of the stuff to be shipped to me. It's all half here. I already have it in envelopes. All I have to do is put labels on them. And then we're going to be moving on. So that's the deal. And if you're not on the wait list, <sighs> Hitomi, I think you're all going to get sick of my singing. There's the wait list. See, Vanna. Thank you, Vanna, Ann, Vanna, Ann. Okay, now um, we're going to talk about, um, I, I just want to share something really quick. Uh-oh. Let's do this. I'm sorry. Let's come back to... Hold on. I know, Deborah. I didn't want to say like, oh, that's the month we're working on the sunrises and sunsets, but I keep getting asked, so might as well make it good. And I, I have so much to share about that. Like, I don't want. Okay, Joanne, and I'm sorry that took so long. She was one of the 25 people to get a free journal, but then happens. What happens for those who? who want to renew their membership. Oh, I'm sorry, Don. we don't allow that. No, I'm kidding. I don't. <laughs> uh, Don. if you'd like to renew your membership, we're very happy and happy to have you. Please send an email to support at yourartfuljourney.com. However, your membership automatically, I believe, renews. Can somebody help me with this? I don't work behind the scenes. I'm in front of the scenes. My team knows the answers to that. All right. I think Connie has said hello from Disney three times today. Connie, what are you doing? Oh, um, Linda wants to know, I'm not on the wait list. And by the way, the wait list doesn't mean you're signed up. The wait list means you're on a wait list. Uh, you're the first to be notified. That's it. So let's go to yourartfuljourney.com. Hold on. I can do this. I have to be able to spell. That would be your artfuljourney.com. You just all you gotta do is put your email in because we send an email out to waitlisters first. Yeah, it automatically renews. But we do have people who are um, who are yearly members. If you sign up, the cost of this, by the way, is thirty-two dollars a month or three hundred and twenty dollars a year. That means you get two free months. The thing about this is you get all of the lessons from day one. I've had several people sell, tell me I am signing up this time because they missed it the last time and the cost is going to go up next time. Okay, that's it. That's it. All right, 547. Let's, let's, let's get ready to rumble. Um, hopefully you guys can see this and I just want to double check my... Uh, Y'all can see this. I'm drinking a nice cup of black tea. Mm. So this was wine with wine with my members. This was in bed last night. Oh, Connie is staying at the Wilderness, Wilderness Lodge and making cards and working on my journey. <gasps> Connie, now I get it. I literally thought you were on like the Matterhorn going, I'm watching. So I was worried about your safety. All right, this was Wine with Wine the other night. Um, thank you um, to your Artful Journey members. We're meeting on Monday morning, and I just want you to know we're going to make a mess. So let's, it's a happy mess. The dog is staring at me like, all right. <laughs> Chris Reeder just said, I'm signing up for the year. I decided this already. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to be, 
you're gonna, I'm hoping, this album is bigger, sorry, than what I usually work in. Um, people are asking me about art journals. They've flown out the door. I have reordered, they're coming in. If you are looking for art journals, I have them. I have still some in stock, but I already have a restock, so you can order the back orders. <laughs> Darlene. Darlene said, salt is taking over her craft space. I love that. All right. Yeah, I really threw something at them this month. I think they weren't prepared for, well, what is she talking about? And then, all right. So I like to start each of my pages with just a little bit of painter's tape. By the way, was anybody, did anybody join me today on the Jelly Arts page? Oh, Hitomi just said the year membership is worth every penny. <gasps> Hitomi, by the way, I want to, um, oh, I was going to remember that, I'm going to mention this on Friday. Your Artful Journey members, I want to talk to you guys live next week, or not the following week. <gasps> Did you love the salt? Oh, my God. I'm not a Hearts fan either, Lynn, uh, Lori. Oh, you guys did catch it. Wasn't it fun? I mean, I legit had so much fun. Okay, we, all we've done so far is take this page. I swear there's more coming. I think people are like, what? There's nothing going on. Okay, so I'm going to do, um, I need a circle. I always do this. I need a circle, and it needs to be, does it need to be bigger than that? I feel like it needs to be bigger than that. Hold on. Oh, here, maybe this. I'm looking at proportion. Do I have anything that's bigger? I feel like this is too big. Hmm. I don't feel like it's too big. All right. But I'm not... Hmm. I'm going to use pencil. I never use a pencil. So I know right now there's about 17 people having heart attacks. See, I can't find a pencil because I don't use pencils. That's why. I would... Oh. I'm going to, oh, you guys, I have to, I have to be somewhat clean because I'm going to be unpacking the bag afterward. I'm going to be as clean as possible. I don't have a pencil. How does one not have a pencil? Okay. I don't have a pencil. I got to have a pencil. Hold on. Hmm. See, this is exactly why I don't use pencils. They're never around when I need them. All right, I'll have to just get one. Sorry. I just, yeah. Heck it. Let's use a Sharpie. Let's commit. I don't want it to be that bold, so let's just do this. All right. This is the bottom of my, oh, wait a minute. Before I start that, uh, how far down am I going to do this? <sighs> okay. Now, I showed you the red Gerber Daisy. I love Gerber daisies. I'm writing with my left hand, so that's not that easy, but. Okay, this is basically a circle is all I need. Okay, perfect, that's all I need. Okay. Oh, isn't that Valentine's kit fun? All right, so this is just a basis. That's not like, I'm not committing to every part of this. Now, I'm going to, I know, I've showed this watercolor set a few times this week. I'm going to use this. Tomorrow I'm using a different watercolor set, but I just need, no, 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 let's just keep it simple. Let's go classics. Let's go red. I need some burgundy. You know what? If I have to dig into it, I have to dig into it. All right. So I'm using watercolors. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Angela says every time I try salt it never looks like Tracy's well it's not going to look like Tracy's because you're Angela so it's going to look like Angela's I mean that's going to be legit but it's probably stunning that's what I'm going to say because that's the way it goes so uh, you might be wondering what I'm doing right now and I'm wondering the same dang thing. So I'm just going to go for it. Hmm. 
<laughs> you guys didn't expect that, did you? Oops, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I can kind of see what I'm doing. All right. That is my thing. You got to remember that you are not going to have anything that's going to turn out absolutely like mine because we're coming from different spaces. Yes, this is how I'm creating this page. So, and I feel like, oops, that's brown, not black. So I really want to make some darker red in here. I'm going to just add some black. Yeah, I kind of wanted it to be more. There we go. There we go. Yes. <laughs> That's, whoa, this is how we do it. Don't worry. We can go back. We're going to go back. All right. Oh, Angela said, doesn't soak up like mine. Um, we're, we're noticing that I used sea salt the other night, and I had quite good luck with it. Um, I think that has something to do with it. Karen, send you a picture you are tagged in the hot tub. What? 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 What's going on over there? Yeah, all salts act differently. No two salts, exactly the same. Uh-oh. So we already have, like, I'm loving this technique. There is no, I don't know, we're, we're just winging it. This is the wing it technique. Oops. Oh, well. We're literally going off the... And I'm just mixing some red, some black. I had some orange in there, but I decided I was just going to, oops. Yep. Oh, water. Oh, you guys are loving it already. So let's just, let's just keep going. Let's just trust the process. This is going to be one of those that you guys are going to tell me. Don't do anything. Don't add anything. Don't add a Sharpie. Just don't touch it, right? What did you all say to me the other night? Pencils down. Okay. So here's my approach. Uh, there's no salt. This is not a salt technique. No, no, no. Sorry, we were talking about something from the other night. Sorry, there's no salt in this. We are just straight up watercolors. Yeah. I got um, some red Gerber daisies, so I am just, this is my approach to red Gerber daisies. Remember when people draw literal interpretations, I draw the Dr. Seuss interpretation of it. Um, that's my world, and I prefer to create from that space. A lot of people use this, by the way, down here to mix their watercolors. <laughs> I just go right in my watercolors and mix them accordingly. Oop. And then when they get too dark, I do that. Yes. Uh, this is a number eight round. I could probably, have, I think I should have done a number 10 round, but it's still doing what I want it to do. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's going to be kind of a nuisance to get around all this stuff, but I feel like if I just keep extending these out, I won't have as much stuff to fill in in the background, and then we'll deal with the middle. <laughs> Cecilia said, oh my goodness, I stepped out to take my bread out of the oven, and I came back to this amazing... Okay, um, Cecilia, just so you know, we do have a policy that if you are not making enough to share with the class, um, you cannot talk about fresh baked bread because I have a fresh baked bread problem. <laughs> I don't actually term it as a problem. I call it a, an addiction. So I'm just going to extend this out until I... Oh, can you believe 10 minutes before I started this, I had no inspiration. So this is good news. Okay, sip. We're going to have to eventually talk about the middle of this. 
but for right now, I just want to make sure I we're, we might have to embrace the white space on this. Oh, I don't even know how we're going to have that conversation. I feel like it has to be like light. Ugh, I, it has to be something. I know this isn't exactly a Gerber Daisy because just so you know, a Gerber Daisy has more um, rounded petals. I'm looking at a Gerber Daisy, so I know. But I'm not going to mess with this because I kind of liked the way I did it. Does that make sense? So let's not, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm going to leave it. I don't, if I mess with it, I'll be mad at myself. And then I'll keep this under, you know, half an hour so that we can unpack my bag. All right, I do need this to dry because now I feel like, you know what, though? If it goes in the middle, it's not going to be that bad because... I'm going to do this yellows, goldenrod, red. Okay, so I'm not I'm not going to obsess over the middle. I mean, I will, but it'll be later when you're all sleeping. Yeah, we're just going to come in. Yeah. I don't like to... I, need, I really need to order yellow paint for this palette because I'm running out. Okay. Good. So I didn't really care about that. Yeah, this is a Tracy Gerber Daisy. <laughs> now, in order to do the background, so really I used just primary red, some black. I was going to go with the orange. I ditched that idea. Loretta, sunflowers are my favorite. Now I need to dry this because if I come in here and start to do a background of any nature, I don't want all the red to go. Um, I think this is going to be one of those that I shouldn't even pull the Sharpie out. So let's. Yeah, why am I running this so fast? Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, just let it dry, let it do its thing. I noticed the orange, the yellow's running a little bit. Don't worry about that. Just you can continue to do your thing. Oh, whoops, not that way. Oh, I love that. It just is layer upon layer. Look at how deep that red is right now. I'm happy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're good with that. I'm not even going to worry. I'm getting paint over here, but who cares? I'll figure that out later. By the way, tomorrow morning I will be on uh, BoQ Creations, their Facebook page, at 10 a.m. No, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm never going to get this straight tomorrow. Oops. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, don't make me nervous. Uh, we have a lot of people watching tonight, so let's not think about that. Let's not think about anything. Let's just create. <laughs> All right. Can we talk about the background? Are we feeling greens? Are we feeling yellows? Are we feeling whites? White space? Are we feeling... I? Okay. What are we feeling? How are you feeling? I've got a little bit of yellow, I've got a little bit of green, I've got, you name it, I got it in my heart right now. <laughs> Better speak now. Blue. Oi, got rumba. Uh, you're feeling blue, Amy. Oi, okay. What day was the video for the tribe that Tracy painted the heart? I missed it. Uh, that was Monday night. Light V blue. Green, purple. Okay, we're just going to throw up color in the back. Cause no, okay, blue. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm going to go with exactly what you said, but I'm going to start with teal and I'll work my way backwards. Okay? I Pink! 
you guys. All right, just don't panic. <sighs> Anybody panicking? Because right now I feel a sense of panic. I feel a sense of panic blue. Okay, but we're going to, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to go just neutral crazy. I'm going to, I'm going to let this drawing speak for itself. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoops. Come on, Tracy. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. No, green, pink. You guys are just blue green. Okay. A little hint of green. Rainbow. <laughs> okay. Rainbow. You know what? Let's drop a hint of green. I'm, I'm feeling the vibes. I feel like there's a little bit of everything in here. I don't care with that. You know what? That's okay. That we don't. Okay. Blue for the sky. I get it. All right. So every time you just say a color, I'm just going to continue painting it. Hi, Debbie. Or Deborah. Okay. We're just going to, we're just going to blend colors and hope that it doesn't look like a, okay. We're liking the blues. Ugh. Anybody feel like this could have gone to heck in a handbasket really quick? Okay, and I'm not going to let this overpower. I want the sun. No, this is not a sun. I want the flower to be the main character in this page. But it is nice dropping the hints of green. All right. Okay. Oh, you stay there, you rascally rabbit, you. Oh boy, don't start bleeding. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, you're right. I think you're right. Okay, they're saying that the green is adding just the impression of leaves, which I like. So we're we're just kind of we're just playing. Okay, we're that's how everything has to be. Okay, you got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. When you do background while it's wet, spring oh yeah. Okay. I'm just going to come in here and gingerly. Mm -hmm. How watery is your background in comparison to your, I would say my background is more watery. I was really doing deliberate kind of deliberate brush strokes with less water in my petals than I am right now where I'm kind of mixing and just letting the water go. I've just, and I didn't pre-wet the background. I mean, but I'm just gonna, And believe it or not, I don't want, I don't want the background to be like outshining everything. Okay. I mean, we'll deal with this later, but you know, you get the idea. It's just kind of flowing. I don't, I don't really, oops. See, we do want to make sure I'm not, I'm going to get a baby wipe right now. Okay. See the red over here is running because I didn't want that properly dry. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna come through here. Oops. 
And I'm just going to softly take my baby wipe and then I'm going to come in here and just start blending the colors and then I'm going to let it dry. I'm not going to overwork it like I'm overworking it right now. I'm going to let it do its thing, but I'm going to overwork it as I'm doing it. <laughs> Uh-oh, my teal is really taking a beating over here. so funny when you're talking quantity of water but we're gonna let I don't you know I don't even know if I'm gonna do the sharpie in this or anything but maybe I am maybe I'm not but I really want this to stop running because I've got a little bit of a red situation happening over there so I think I'm good I think I'm gonna can this be done with oil pastels? Absolutely. I'm going to be honest, Pam. I am not an oils. I'm not an oils worker. So, um, but uh, I don't work with oils. So, do I think that yes, you can paint a red Gerber daisy with oils? Yes, I've seen it done. And some oil pastels. I'm not an oils pastels person. I don't claim to be. I do try to stay in my own lane when it comes to creativity. Uh, I know lots of oil artists who just bring it. Yeah, I'm thinking the Sharpie is going to come out, but it's going to be like the loosest, goosest Sharpie you've ever seen in your life, okay? Oh my God. So this is the kind of stuff I like to share with your Artful Journey members. And I'm going to dry this. Don't worry, this background is going to take another feel because I've got other plans for it. In the middle of this, I'm going to have another feel. <laughs> Loretta says, it makes me want to paint, but I'm in bed. Yeah, it's going to get... Oops, sorry, I almost spilled my tea all over it. telling you have these flowers not arrived on my doorstep at whatever the paper is seven inches by ten inches thank you Ida for saying you love the look you guys saw my brush stroke it was like yes oh my god Bobby said we started the party without her we're gonna have to start over everybody <laughs> thank you you guys I hope you're enjoying it okay here is where I'm going to take this ready I'm going to get my sharpie now remember I'm going to be unpacking bags soon so that's the good news so I have to oh, I got to find my sharpie I put everything in backwards okay so that's going to come out this is going to come out I'm not taking everything out. I'm going to be a good girl. Put it all back. Okay. Oh, mine looks like I opened a vein in, onto the paper. Did anybody see my um, my demo today? On, um, I, I might need a new... Okay. Okay, here's the great thing about... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you about what happens, I believe, with watercolors. It's almost like these petals are going to start telling me a story. Like they're going to tell me this petal is over. This petal is under. Now this pen is going to be thrown out. Goodbye. Hold on. I know, I know when to say goodbye to my Sharpies and I have to say goodbye to that one. I, adios, sayonara, see you later. Hold on. I'm looking for another pen. Okay. Sorry, that pen, you can't even see it because it's so dull. Okay, April's love. I missed your, oh yes. So so this this flower, we're going to, it's going to tell us what to do with it. Like these petals, yeah, here we go. The petals are over. The petals are under. This one is over. This one is under. We're going to let the paint tell the story, not us. We're going to let... Yes. Yeah. I love it when this happens. I do. 
truly love it when this happens. It's like you wonder what the brush strokes are doing, what they mean, and then all of a sudden you figure it out. Okay, so then this one is over, and this one is under. Now we're going to get depth of feel. Okay. You know where this one is going to come to life? In the middle. That's where this one's going to come to life. And I already can kind of sense where it's going, but... Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, Martha said, by far, this is one of her favorites. Now I feel like if I jack it up, we're all in a situation. Anybody happy I got flowers about 10 minutes before this all happened? Yes. Okay. I'm not convinced that background is, you know, we're in love with it, but I'm not convinced I'm not in love with it. So we're not, we're going to work our way through the uglies, as I like to tell everybody. What do I say? Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't let the, don't let negative Nancy come out of your head and win. She's not here today. We're not letting her play this game. Serendipity is one of my most favorite words in the whole wide world. I am a firm believer on life's precious moments. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it needed. It needed it. Okay. So, it's just a piece of paper. Guess what? It all goes gangbusters. All right. Here is where I think things are going to take off. And I'm going to grab a couple of things. What am I going to grab? This is what color? Copper. Sometimes you'll have ink. I'm going to tell you a really great color is quinacridone gold. This is right here. I'll, I'll pull this out with some Payne's Gray. I like to mix things up a little bit here. You're going to probably see me. This is some ink, dark walnut. I'm talking about the middle because this is where our flower is going to either come to life or it's going to drop dead. We have two choices here and I prefer the um, come to life mode. So let's try this first. Let's try this first. That's Quin Gold. Um, these are common acrylic colors. This is Payne's Gray, very common. I'm going to get a stencil brush. I love to do the middles of my flowers with a feathery look. And I'm going to start in the middle. Whoops, a little too dark, but I'm going to pull it back. Okay. Stomping elephants. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to come around here. Oh, I feel like this part is going to be a little bit darker. I could use a smaller stencil brush or I could just struggle with this one like I'm choosing to do. All right, you know what? Let me just do this. Let me get another stencil brush and then let's let's try it with inks, okay? What brand of acrylic paints? These are DecoArt Media Fluid Acrylics, one of my faves. Okay, and I'm going to, what is this? Thing at the end. Okay, uh, I'm going to come in here. Actually, this is where I feel like my pen, my Sharpie, is going to be more effective. But let's give it a second. Yeah, I don't like this stencil brush at all. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to get there. We're going to get there slow and easy. I'm going to get there slow and easy. So here's one way to get there. Where is my Sharpie? Okay. Yeah, this is why, okay, so now I'm going to just start doing this. What time? 619. Okay. 
I will be done by 6.30. And then if anybody wants to stay for just a mini unpacking, I will unpack my travel bag and show you real quick. I will promise that this will be significantly finished. Okay. But I have to sit here and do this for about 40 minutes. So hold on. Uh, Uh, I even like to take the Sharpie and then start doing this. So we're going to just start scribbling. We're going to add depth of feel. We're going to add depth to the middle. We're going to add shadows. We're going to add where all those leaves or petals are coming in. Oh, yes. Does anybody feel it's coming alive or we're killing it? If I start to kill it, can you please do me a favor and send me a text very quickly because... Otherwise, we're in trouble. You see, the whole focus of this flower happens to be the middle, and it's actually a larger middle, so we got to make sure we pay it the right attention. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this. I know, I'm a script. I like to script. Okay, now I'm going to come back in. Uh oh, come on, don't go fast. Okay, you know, because. This is a stencil brush, so it's really blunt. Now I'm using colors that resemble uh, the inside of the flower. Oh, I love using the Sharpie. Now, keep in mind, I'm using acrylic paint here. Now, I'm using it really finely, so I'm not really like, um, the middle of this is going to be quite dark, you know, and then I'm gonna add, okay, hold on. I love this Quinn Gold. Quinn is gold is like rust colored. Does rust have a color? Now, I don't want to just go jabbing my Sharpie back into there because then I'm going to ruin it. Okay, so don't ruin it. There's always room to darken it up. Okay, we don't want to... This is what I do because I don't want to take that Sharpie and drag it through acrylic paint. I promise this will be done in nine minutes. <laughs> you know what? Some of our greatest little adventures happen on Wednesday nights when I say it's going to be a fun and fast demo, and then I just decide I'm going to try a new flower I've never tried in my life. Yeah, I don't know how that works. But see, scribbling. This is not uh, drawing. It's scribbling. Oh, um... Ellen, that's a, um, oh, I should list my heat gun. I get to ask that. I'm going to put that on my resources page by the end of the night. Um, that's a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer. That's not a special apparatus. It's just blowing heat. And when I'm working this fast, like, you know, and I, you guys don't want to watch paint dry. Well, not that I know of. Okay, so now we're scribbling. I will, I'll put that on the resources page. I'm going to write that note. Watch this, post-it note. Here goes another post-it note. Heat gun. Everybody asked me that, because it's not too noisy either. Tim Holtz makes a great one, I, I love Tim's. Okay, again, here's another thing I love, is if you're just kind of coming in and adding depth of feel, all you gotta do is sit here and add this. Now, I'm not completely 100% satisfied with my background, so in order to get this done in the time frame that I told you I was going to get it done, um, when I'm speed painting like I am, I am going to come in here and I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to do this. Oops, don't do that. I'm going to push that back in there. I'm just taking a baby wipe. Okay, and I'm going to spread this out a little bit. Just make it a little, okay, okay, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just blending. Watercolors work well with, you know, I don't want to take the red out of the, but I'm, I can push it back in that way. Okay. Good. Good. I liked, I wanted to soften it up. I wanted to just soften it up, which is what I'm doing. I'm just blotting it, taking some color away. I'm going to take my black 
Oh goodness, I'm unpacking every dang thing out of this bag that I said it was going to be in this bag. Okay, now I'm going to just take a, oops, that was really dark, but that's okay. We're going to come around here. This is a black, uh, this is listed on my or, um, my resources page, it's an archival ink pad. Um, I like it because it's dark and it's, oh yeah, permanent. I'm just going to add a little vignette to the page. I don't need to go too dark. I just need to go. Okay. And then I'm going to be done. I'm not going to take this much further. I have other stamp pads that are like teal and blue and you know, that would be probably fun to add in here a little bit and just darken this up because oh, I love like intense backgrounds. I love. Oh, yes. Okay. But this is a stencil brush. This is this is listed on my resource resource page under Dynasty. I love the Dynasty Pro stencil brushes. They're amazing. They give really soft. Okay. And then I'm going to make one more pass at this middle because I'm loving the dark contrasting. What's, how much time do I have? I have five minutes. I have five minutes. Okay, and then I'm done. And then we kept it to the time frame uh, I said I was going to do. And I kind of hit. Now, do I feel like this should be a little more intense? Yes, I do. Now, if I had a nice. Oh, good. This is good. There's nothing says that you can't go around this six or seven times if you want. We're done. For all intents and purposes, we're done. Oh my goodness, I am telling you. This, I'm loving that I had nothing in the brain and then I let this guy in. And my paintbrush told me where to put all of this. Okay, we're going to take the... We're going to take... This is what... How I'm feeling. This is what I needed. Oh, yes. Don't be afraid to scribble. Yeah, you know? Okay. <sighs> All right. I don't know, really. I am going to take, where's my, um, okay. I am going to just sharpen one little bit. cool because I cleaned my dust the other day and now I can't find it anything. All right, so this is an aqua available Stabilo pencil, but I'm just going to make a little pass around that. I love a nice clean edge. I get obsessed with this. Um, Loretta said unbelievable. Loretta, I didn't have anything um, other than my imagination and that's what I hope to spark in all of you. Now, I'm going to just do this. I know this is a little more intense and crazy than what I intended. I think the background should have been lighter, but I'm a-okay a, -A -okay with that and I am going to unpack my bag. No inspiration. You hit it out of the ballpark. Thank you. My ins I shouldn't say I had no inspiration. I got flowers. Uh, that were delivered and there were red Gerber daisies. Now, I don't like that this happened. Fine, it happened. Okay, that's just stamp pads. So that's, there we go, done. <laughs> um, could you have done the background first? Yes, however, remember the intensity of your colors are gonna change if things, oh, hold on, I gotta change my camera. That's not gonna do me any good. Um, hello. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, I loved mixing the black. Okay, um, I'm just going to answer any questions that arise. I'm going to put a few things away um, because then I'm going to pretend like my bag was never unpacked and I'm going to unpack my bag. And then um, if you have any questions, because I keep getting asked about my bag, I will answer that, but we're done. I'm almost salivating to do something with, I love art, Sherry. Well, then you should be doing stuff like this. You guys, look at this. Okay, by the way, these come from the Dollar Tree. And actually, if I only use it a little bit, I throw it back in the drawer. So it just dries out. Whoops. Uh, the cool thing is we utilize everything. <laughs> All right. A quick show and tell. I think we're done. I think the cleanup is basically done. Okay. Here's my bag. Is anybody going to stay for about 10 extra minutes? That's all. If you want to see this, I'll stand up even because I need to stand. Okay, I do plan to join tomorrow, next week's Daily Heart Journaling. I love it. So thank you so much. I'll put that link in there. Okay, so before I answer this question, I'm going to go to this. You're going to be wondering where I got my bag. It's listed under the resources page, and yes, it's customized, and yes, you can customize yours, and you don't have to customize it like mine. It would be awkward if you put Tracy Wines Apple Studios on your bags. Okay. So here is our done page. I'm going to put this aside. Okay. Um, this bag, I'm going to. So if you go to the resources page, all of this is listed, and I put fo photos. Okay. To keep the dark red, do you use less water? Pam, it's a mixture of red and black because that will change your hue. And then, yes, less wa water will make it more intense. Cute top on you. Thank you so much. Okay, this is going to last approximately me five minutes. Okay, here it is. Um, this is my bag. I'm actually packing this because legit it is going camping with me this weekend. And yes, it does say Tracy Wines Apple Studios. My friend does these bags. Um, she's a 31. So she sent me these bags. <laughs> and I'm going to unpack my bag. Okay. So here's the bag. I will show you what's in every pocket. I have no idea why Pyrrole Red is in this bag. I have no idea why this pen is in there, but I was looking for it. Okay. So let's start. Let's, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to push this down. You don't need to see me. Okay. All right. So here's the bag. Here's what's in it. I don't know why this was in there. So I'll figure that out. I probably just threw it in there because I take this bag to bed every night. I'm not married. All right. Um, so this is going to go with me. This travels. So this happens to be two sets of Daniel Smith watercolors that were sent to me. So they fit in there. So I just put them in there. In this bag in this little corner pocket this is a water pail that folds down so um for convenience sake somebody said they were going to use their dog's water bowl i just recommend you get a new one okay <laughs> that's in this bag uh i don't have anything in the side bag over here oh my god you guys can see the fat of my belly all right so let's just turn this bag around oh in this pocket oh i don't know how to have yeah. Oh, I have spare Sharpies that are all brand new. Yeah, and then I don't know what these are. Oh, I bought these pens to test. <laughs> okay. Then here's another set. These are Elizabeth Craft watercolors that were sent to me, and I use those. I'll be darned. That's where all my black pens are going. Okay, so there's another one. In here, I have a water bottle because I want to spray backgrounds. And then I have my business cards, so you know that it's me. Okay, so that's just the outer thing. On the inner thing, here's what I have in here. My art journal is always in here. 
Um, this is a set of watercolors that I just listed in my resources. They're not inexpensive. I have a whole thing of these, which I'm going to refill right now because I'm going camping. You wonder what these are? You ever been to the dentist? I just went yesterday. No cavities. And look at how white my teeth are. Um, this is, um, those are the dental bibs they put around you. <laughs> They're super great. And not, they don't, yeah, I use them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a set of like water, uh, Jane Davenport mm, watercolor markers, pens, brushes. Um, and this is my travel bag. So don't think, because I was like, um, I have a compass set, but I think I'm going to take this out. Um, I was a drafting student, so this is why this is so important looking. Uh, my dad bought it for me back in 1912, and I've had it since then, and it works like a charm. So there we go. How do I use the dental bibs? I put them around my neck. No, one side is absorbent and the other side has a little plastic seal. So I use them like paper towels. I just think they're great and yeah. Oh, well, top. I've never showed you this, guys. Okay, I use these things all the time. Not 1912, but my dad did buy this for me when I was in college. Maybe high school. I, I, I have a construction degree, so I keep this in here because it reminds me of my dad. This bag is really not heavy, but it does zip at the top, too. <laughs> okay, um, I have a pack of postcards. I don't know why. They're not even a full pack. Those don't need to go with me. Okay, so the bag is empty. Okay, now, what else is in this bag? <laughs> Yeah, I love those things. I use them all the time. I use them between, yeah, I can't believe I didn't show you that. Okay, so let's put this back in. You've already seen it. You've already seen this. Okay, you've already seen this. Now, here is something that goes with the bag that I love. Now, you will need the next day. That's really why I keep it in here. Do you take the bag camping? If you paint anywhere else and then pack up and go, your paints would drip all over. Um, I take my stuff everywhere I go. Now, if I'm going to the dentist's office, I don't take this bag, but I do carry this to bed every single night. And this is what I take. Um, this is what I take camping. Um, just because I have them, I have my basic supplies. So this pouch right here, I posted this as well. And yes, it says Tracy Wines Apple Studios. Now this one is empty, so I can show you that it houses. And I'll, I'll empty mine real quick, and I'll just empty it here so you can see it. It has places that you can stick things here. It has a pencil pouch here, and then it has this. So I'll show you how I use mine. Here's this. Now it's getting, now it's, I'll, I'll, I'll do this so it becomes a little easier to see. Okay. I'll load this to YouTube, Patricia. This is, see these are paint colors here. So this has my archival ink pad. Um, this is an old pencil sharpener. I don't use it. I'm going to get rid of it. It's gone. So I use, this is, these are like watercolor sets. I keep a variety of the travel ones. This is an oddball pen that's in there. I don't know why. And then I keep just a couple of black and white. I don't know why I have black, white. Oh, my art journal just fell. Okay, so this, I don't need all this, so I'm going to eliminate two of those. And I just keep a black and a white fluid acrylic in there with an eraser. So that's what's in there. And I'm not going to deviate from that. In fact, I just cleaned it out. I don't even need that marker in there. Gone. I am going to put that pyro red that I found in there. Though. Okay, so that takes care of that. Are you still following along? So this was that bag I just showed you. This was the first bag she sent me. She didn't put my name on it. So let's let's go in here. Let's delve into this. And these are all on my resources page. Um, how do you dry some of your paints if you're camping without your dryer? Uh, air 
Watercolors dry so fast, and I'm super patient. What is the difference between archival ink and other ink pads? Not oxide. Okay, there are two types of stamp pads. There are dye-based, there are uh, pigment-based. I don't use pigment-based. I typically use dye-based. Dye They're drier. Archival, the Ranger Archival ink is actually at permanent and waterproof. Um, let's see. This was another one I love, but it's not necessarily permanent. It's Tuxedo Black my, by Memento. But if I use water, it will sometimes activate it and it can smear. So this is why I say that I use this religiously. Okay. All right. Are you ready for me to open this bag? And if you're looking for any of what is posted on here, the resources page is the place to go. Okay, let's open this real quick. We have four minutes. That's all I'm going to do. Now, to my left, I keep, well, normally one of these is in here. See, I just threw this back in here. But these are masking fluid pens. So two of them in here. I keep regular brushes here, usually just small ones. You're so welcome. And then I keep water brushes. Now, for some reason, my water brushes are giving birth. I have no idea why I have four. I would think two would be plenty. Um, uh, but, yeah, they all have, see, they all have water in them. I love them. They're great when you're traveling. So I leave those in there. I don't know why there's four. In the back, I keep transfer paper if I'm ever going to trace something. And then I keep two sizes of painter's tape, really thin and then not so thin. So those are back there. All right, let's dig deep. Teresa Adams asked me this the other day, if I keep just a stencil brush for the ink, and the answer is kind of yes. I'll wash it every once in a while. Uh, chisel tip Sharpie, oops, and then I keep probably two to four regular Sharpies. I use Uniball and Jelly Roll white pens, so those are kind of in there. I don't know. Jane Davenport, black pens. I'm not, none of the, some of the black pens, except for Sharpies, I just don't go crazy over. This is just, uh, this is a fountain pen. <laughs> I like fountain pens. I always have a pencil sharpener. That's really important to me. Um, this is a pencil eraser. I don't even have a pencil in here, so it doesn't really... Oh, I found... Look at this. Son of a gun. Look at this. Found the pencils. How funny. Um, so more... Uh, this is more Sharpies. I keep a couple of these. These are the Stabilo Aquarellables, hence why I need the pencil sharpener. That's what goes in here. This is my main staple. If I really just have my art journal with me, this would be this would do me. So then, oops, keep it all in here. Uh, like so. Do this. Why is there oh pencil shavings in there? Okay, do this. Voila. Oh my goodness, I have so many fountain pens. I am a I write with only fountain pens at work in my job. I love fountain pens. I love, love expensive fountain pens. Yeah, one Christmas I got three fountain pens from people. Do you bring out my larger brushes? Maria, I don't really. Um, probably would be handy to have like a flat brush in there, maybe something like this size. Now that I mentioned it, I'll throw it in there. Um, but I don't obsess over large brushes. I'm not painting the Sistine Chapel when I'm traveling, but that fits in there nicely. I'm just painting small art journal pages, so that's all I do. Okay, we went over a little bit. Again, if you didn't catch any of that, the resources page is your place to go. Do you have fountain pens in your resource page? I don't, and I should add them. Oh my God, I could give you a list of fountain pens. I got my art journal that I threw on the floor. I, I will add those too. I love fountain pens. I love cross fountain pens, Mont Blanc fountain pens, and then I have inexpensive ones. I find I signed up for the five day heart journal challenge. Is there a basic list of supplies? Uh, Sherry, I think it's Sherry. Sherry, if you go to unit one, 
There is a complete list of what I use and what I recommend. You, are, you do not have to have it. Uh, Linda said, do you still have your construction job? Um, how can you do it all? Uh, I do. I have three kids in college. They are my purpose. That way they can afford to put me in a brilliant, lovely old folks home <laughs> where I can sit in a rocking chair and paint for that. Thank you so much for unpacking your travel bag. That's it. Um, I probably have overkill of watercolors. I don't need that. But I do take this bag back and forth to my room. So if you see me painting in bed, that's why. Loved this tonight. I don't even know how I came across you prior to the Heart Journal ad. I'm so glad I did. Thank you for sharing all your goodies with us. You are amazing. Thank you. I think you, my purpose is entwined in sharing. Uh, we'll find out. If it isn't, God will let me know. <laughs> Can I see the jelly class you did today? Yes, that is on my YouTube channel. If you, hold on, I can get you to my YouTube channel. Everything I do, including tonight, will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Whew, anybody need a cigarette? I'm tired. Um, no, that's my Instagram page. You don't want to go to that. What do you want to see from me? What does my YouTube channel look like? Here it is. I'll give you my YouTube channel. This will go in there. And if you have any other questions, do not forget the most important thing about today was if you would like to join the Heart Art Challenge, it is not too late. We'll get to uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, when I will be camping. And people are going to start panicking about where things are. You'll be able to calm them down. Have you done any demos recently regarding watercolors and jelly plates? Uh, I, oh, I'd have to look. Not recently, Laura. Okay, um, this will go to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. This weekend, I will be um, camping and I will be sharing. Uh, are there water brush? Are there water brushes that are best? Uh, I'll list those on my resource page again. Water brushes. Adding. I have three that I love. I will add those. Uh, thank you, Tracy. I haven't done a lot of your demos, but this was my favorite so far. Looking forward to Monday. You are so welcome. Okay. Thank you for an another fun date night. I love you, my dear friend. Ida Bell, by the way, is one of my good friends who also has the same crazy construction degree as I do. I love to say that. Okay. Good night. Have a wonderful night. Do not forget, if you want to join us for the Heart Art Journal Challenge, it is $10.00. If you're a member of your Artful Journey, you get that for free. So I hope you are going to join us. Ooh, there's lots of police and ambulance going down the road. I'm going to go eat dinner, and then I'm going to photograph my piece. I will send this to YouTube. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me. Have a wonderful evening. I will talk to you all soon.